Um, why do you think you haven't been cancelled yet? Uh, don't get me started, because it's just too depressing. There's a sort of a mobilised mob that get together to affect someone's real life because of their views. There is certainly people who uh, do it because they don't like people's politics. However, it can happen to them and people can lie. There's hysteria. It's a very dangerous game to play, getting people cancelled. Just because you're offended doesn't mean you're, you're right. So I can justify it. I can say, well, no, no, I know times change. You know, it's not the morality of the day. Why do people keep fucking cowing and apologizing? They've done nothing wrong. It shouldn't be a fucking popularity contest. Morality isn't a fucking popularity contest. I see it on Twitter, people being bullied. They bow down because they can't take the, the misogyny on Twitter. It's depressing. Who was that woman? It's an actress who the, the Twitter found out she went out with a Trump supporter and she was cancelled. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's really odd. These are the same people that loved Obama's tweet that, you know, you shouldn't be ashamed to walk down the street holding the hands of someone you love. They love that, but they want to go, but not, no, unless it's a, unless it's a Trump support. <laughs> so a lot of it's hypocrisy. That's the problem. They just want to, it's not about the argument. It's about winning. It's all it is. Born to two tribes. They don't look at the argument anymore. They look at whose side you're on. Uh, it's terrible.